Hey everybody, Tala here, and I know I've been away for a little while, but there's so much stuff to deal with lately, isn't there? Oh my god. As the holidays are approaching, we really shouldn't be traveling. I think it would be really helpful for us to get through this together and get through it by ourselves, because some of us may end up being by ourselves, is that we can really make Thanksgiving special anyway. What about writing letters? Write them a note, letting them know what you're thankful for about them, what you're grateful for about them being in your life. And this is about truly showing that gratitude. And I think that's something that we miss out on very often. When you come from a place of gratitude, it really shifts your own energy. Anytime you're trying to manifest, instead of coming from a place of need, want, or greed, if you come from a place of gratitude of what you already have, it shifts your energy. You're now grateful. It shifts that energy. It's a very healing, the frequency of gratitude. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about white opal, a wonderful way to kind of help you through this on your own. This will help with depression and sadness. And let me show you some of these. These are white opal. They're excellent for purification. They are emotionally supportive. They're really cool. I mean, you would think a feminine stone, but the white opal is also known as the common opal. And look at some of this in here. What? That flash of red, that fieriness. It feels like they've just been tumbled by the ocean. But they're emotionally supportive and nurturing. Excellent for alleviating worry, chronic stress, depression. It aids in clearing the energetic fields and grounds light into your aura. There's so much going on in that. It helps you to clarify, calm, and focus your mind so that more subtle spiritual signals can be received and processed. It stimulates one's sense of self-worth. It promotes a positive outlook. It strengthens the will to live. Okay, and white opal may look pretty banal, but I want to show you this particular piece. It all just turns to golden light. And it's wonderful for people overcoming all kinds of abuse. And let's face it, a lot of abuse starts with family issues. And holidays are about family. So this is about healing the self and honoring the self and honoring those we love. I would suggest some white opal for that. I would also suggest epidote and preonite for a lot of heart healing. So these are the epidote and preonite. And the preonite itself is good for inner peace. It's a union of the heart and the will. It aids in cooling and grounding excessive anger and nervous energy. So you may want to get these for someone. It encourages a sense of peace and calm. It helps release past wounds, so it's also excellent for intuition and magic because it's clearing the heart energy. The epidote itself is good for a release of negativity, embracing positive patterns, enhances emotional and spiritual growth. This is a really cool one here. Look at that. Can you see that through the light? There you go. It's a stone of increase. It releases negative patterns. And I would suggest Botswana agate, which I've already done a video on months ago. But Botswana agate is also known as pink agate. And it's a very nurturing stone. Just the moment you feel it, I had one gentleman say it felt like a flower. How sweet is that? But Botswana agate is very, very calming. It is a multi-dimensional healer. Again, um, really good for those who have suffered any kind of abuse, any kind of um, emotional abuse, physical abuse. Check those out. They're really cool. I mean, really sweet. They're, they've got their pinks and grays. and They just feel so sweet. They feel so incredible. That's going to really, truly help us get through this. So I didn't get a chance to finish the video of the shop today. Um, flash forward several hours into the future and I'm home and you'll have to excuse me, I have eternal 80s rocker hair, naturally. It just is. <laughs> so I wanted to finish off by saying, even if you can't get these stones, you can do some color therapy for yourself that day. Do a meditation, watch your favorite ridiculous movie, 
do some color therapy and by that I mean you can be wearing green on your heart even a green stone a green sweater what have you green is all about heart healing violet is all about opening third eye so if you want to do some meditation I would say do a ritual bath or even a cleansing beautiful shower but do it with intention and do it in a space of gratitude start with the basics the fact that you are able to sit up and take that breath and absorb any knowledge or share knowledge with others make it a ritual about gratitude this Thanksgiving make it a ritual about your abundance that you truly do have you are so much better off than so many other people in the world so focus on that this Thanksgiving and then focus on giving that gratitude to those around you and those that have been with you in your life. That's what we need to focus on this Thanksgiving because the world has given us an opportunity to shift our perspective and that alone is a gift. So, happy Thanksgiving everyone. I hope you take something from this and please leave your comments below if you have any questions if you have any suggestions i would love to hear them and if you do like what you've heard here today then please hit the like button and subscribe and share with a friend okay i love you guys one quick way to kind of help you through this on your own to do some sort of ritual for yourself